decades there have been people trying to figure out what the best meal plan actually is, yet to this day, there's no clear winner. So today, I'm going to put this to the test. Over these next two weeks, I'm going to be filming a two-part series where I personally test two of the most popular eating plans out there, the carnivore diet and a plant-based diet. This week, we're going to start things off with the carnivore diet. You might be asking yourself, what is the carnivore diet? Well, essentially, you can only eat meat, fish, animal products, low lactose dairy products, seasoning such as salt, pepper, and water, meaning no fruits, vegetables, grains, sugars, whatsoever. Many scientists have claimed for this to be the best diet plan, as well as a ton of other big names such as Andrew Tate, but today we're gonna find out once and for all if it lives up to the hype. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is currently 8 p.m. Monday, January 29th, meaning I'm officially beginning the challenge now. So why is it 8 p.m.? Listen, I put this meat in the freezer without even thinking and it was rock solid. I got home at six o'clock. I go, oh, frick. Now this meat has been defrosting in this warm water for the past two hours. So I got my pan heating up right here. This is not a cooking steak tutorial, just so you all know. I've cooked probably one steak on my own in my entire life. It didn't turn out great, so this gonna be it's gonna be a fun game we're gonna play here i'm hoping by the end of this challenge i become a better chef at cooking meat because bro cooking meat is extremely difficult i feel like so hopefully by the end of this your boy loki be whipping up something clean all right first things first we're starting off with some olive oil in the pan extra virgin like your boy we got this pan warming up we want this boy hot and hopefully this doesn't splash all over me i didn't think about that oh i believe that much would be sufficient oh wow so we got our stuff in our pan next we cook. I will say I feel a whole lot better cooking steak rather than chicken just because look you could bust out on a raw steak you know what I'm saying? Chicken that's just not the case. I'm not trying to get salmon in but open these puppies up. I think I'm gonna do one at a time just so I don't get in over my head. Oh no dog it's still frozen a little bit. I really hope this doesn't ruin my steak. All right slice number one of three. Holy frick! According to my video I was watching I will now let this sear for about 30 to 60 seconds. I feel like it's already kicking through. Holy shit. I don't want to overdo this, boy. You know what I'm saying? I'd say that's about 30 seconds. Oh, look at that sear on that puppy. Oh, ow, oh. Well, another about 30 seconds or so, I'd say. Oh. Oh, I'm one at a time just so I don't get in over my head. Boom, piece one complete. And let me tell you, that boy looked divine, look at this. Now we got two more to go. Bro, I just realized I'm a freaking idiot. I didn't season them. For some reason in my mind, I was like, oh yeah, they're just ready to go on. Nah, I didn't freaking season them whatsoever. So this first one's gonna taste like dog. That's more like it. Meal number one of the challenge, baby. Look at them boys. Hopefully they're cooked up about medium rare. Knowing me, they're probably very well done. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I feel like this honestly just looks kind of sad. Like it would look fire with a mean side dish right there. Now listen, you came here for education, maybe some entertainment. You definitely did not come here for cooking. So keep that in mind when you judge. Okay, oh, wait, hold up. Now nah, that's pretty dang close, but not the important part. Bro. Oh, that's pretty freaking good. Mmm, okay. I low-key killed that. So I got about a, just under a pound of steak in front of me. So we eating good tonight, baby. I'll see you once this is in my tummy. Mmm. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. That filled me up way more than I was expecting. And it was delicious. Tomorrow for breakfast, I got no idea what I'm gonna eat. I probably should have thought of this prior, but we're gonna play it by ear. All right, so I'm gonna get a weight both at the beginning and the end of this challenge. I don't know if I'm expecting any weight loss or gain. Who knows, maybe there will be a tangible number that we get from the scale. Let's find out. Weighing in at 163. So I am still down a lot from my no eating video as well as being sick and traveling, but 163. Also, some people were saying, those weren't accurate measurements. You're wearing thick wool socks so it don't count as weighing in. Listen. I ain't showing my dogs off to the whole internet. So I'm gonna wear socks every single time I weigh. So it's an accurate measurement because it's constant every single time that I weigh in. So if it really bugs you that bad, take about 0.2 pounds off for the socks. Thank you. I'm also gonna continue to take all of my vitamins that I normally take on a weekly basis during this challenge. My body's gonna be needing these especially while doing this just because of the fact that I'm not getting as many nutrients and as well diverse nutrients from my food. Really the main reason you should be taking supplements if your food's not fulfilling 
taking all your supplement needs. The multivitamin, ashwagandha, fish oil. I've also started taking lysine because I get so many cankers. I'm crossing my fingers because cankers suck, bro. All right, so it's currently the beginning of day two and I am feeling sick starving extremely hungry and i'm craving carbs like a mofo already i feel like carbs sit a lot denser in your stomach and hold you over for a lot longer me honestly i just feel like runs through me so i'm gonna be eating a lot more meals i feel like which could be a good thing because then i maintain my weight but hey i guess time will tell but i do feel pretty good overall just very very hungry luckily eggs qualify in the carnivore diet otherwise bro i would be screwed i freaking love eggs so these are an absolute dub i think i'm gonna just do three eggs for breakfast today whip them up i can't do any cheese i can do salt and pepper no cheese though which is very unfortunate but we're gonna see it through we're gonna see it through my stomach is going crazy on me bon appetit bro i literally got ketchup out thinking i could use it i definitely cannot use ketchup look at them boys steaming baby all right let's try these things out real quick Mm. I'm not gonna lie about eggs still. Hey, hey. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 eggs. Another day in the books, ladies and gentlemen. I just finished with my last meal of the day. I just effed up some bratwurst. I'm not gonna lie. They were freaking delicious. I microwave them, which isn't really ideal. But bro, they were amazing. It would have been really great if I could have some ketchup or something on them. Today, I was driving past KFC. Oh my gosh, bro. A chicken sandwich from there sounds so freaking good. I've really been craving carbs. Extremely craving carbs. But overall, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Like, I haven't been getting a ton of sleep these last few days which is pretty normal for me i've been feeling like pretty energized still which is pretty nice i can't lie i haven't weighed in yet i'm gonna not weigh in till the end of the challenge just so it's a little bit of a surprise and more shocking but i don't feel like i've lost that much weight my workouts they're going decent i don't really have like a car boost if you know what i'm saying for a little bit of energy but overall we're making it out alive oh so i officially have two days remaining in this challenge before we go on to part two it's currently breakfast time i'm about to make my eggs once again and let me just say, I am freaking sick of eggs. They sound disgusting right now. Because normally, like, I do a little something to spice them up. You know what I'm saying? These last few weeks, or these last few days, sorry, my brain is fried. Nothing. It's just eggs. Holy, wait, why are you so hyper, man? <laughs> <coughs> these last few days. Um, so, yeah, it's getting very repetitive. Currently, I am freaking craving carbs. Holy frick. Shredded chicken quesadilla from Cafe Rio. That's what I get for lunch every day normally. Holy, I would F one of those up right now. Today for my lunch, I packed a strip steak, which sounds delicious, except there's no microwave where I work, so it's cold. Mm. <sighs> yummy, yummy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are weighing in here on the final day. Okay, 161. So that's really not too horrible at all. I was actually expecting a lot more, but if you put all of this into consideration of what I normally weigh around 175, it's a big drop from these challenges. I'm very curious to see how plant-based does me because I have a feeling that's gonna be very, very low calorie and hopefully it doesn't drop me into the 150s because that, that's catastrophic. That is horrible. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, day number seven, this challenge is officially complete. So let me give you a brief update of how I feel. Honestly, it sucked horribly. I lost a little bit of weight, which honestly I kind of expected because it is technically a diet plan. I think the main reason I lost weight is because I couldn't get as many calories in because it's harder to make the meals. It's not as clean. So I think that's the reason I personally lost weight and maybe that's the reason people who are trying to lose weight go on this diet plan because it constricts you to eating less. This could just all be philosophy and it could not be true whatsoever. That's just kind of my stuff I gathered from doing the challenge. I felt great during the challenge. I had very minimal brain fog, pretty good energy depending on the day. But overall, I think this is a very viable option. But that being said, is it the best option? I'll see you next week for part two of the series where we test out the plant-based diet and see once and for all which diet plan is the best. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.